I'm assuming you're here because you have scraps of fleece that you want to use up. When I searched, I found things that required like a yard of fleece. And to me, that's not scraps. Maybe it is for you. It depends on the project. But I wanted to show what I had, smaller mounts and things that you can make. So I did this video a while ago. If you want to check it out, super easy fleece blankets. But we had some selvages and also some corners that were cut off from it. And I don't like waste, so I thought I'd try something out with them. So here's a bunch of just strips. I mean, who wants something with the writing on it? Doesn't look that great. And then all of these squares that are cut out, not perfectly even as you can see, and lots of different designs. So first of all, we're gonna start off with these and do a couple of different things with them. So the first thing is you can use them to braid. So you could use this for like a bag, I don't know, even like a bracelet, necklace. There's a lot of different things you could use that for. So I did end up saving some in my fabric stash for, I don't know, rainy day project down the road. Along that line, I made a rope bone for my dog. She loves stuffed animals, so she really loves that soft feeling. And it's not as durable as you might get at the store, but it was kind of fun. I mean, I had the scraps anyway, and she definitely loved it. So. I got a little footage of her enjoying it for you guys. She also enjoys um, chewing on it while sitting at my feet and I'm sewing. So the other thing that I'm doing is using it for stuffing. Now if you just chuck them into whatever you're going to stuff, um, it's not very comfortable. So I'm shredding it all up into smaller pieces. That way it is much more comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to give away what I made with it, but something pretty darn cool at the end. And I found, you know, instead of just cutting it and taking a thousand hours and killing your hand, um, just using a rotary blade made it pretty quick work. So those are the two things that I could think of using salvage edges like that. If you have other ideas, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear them. And then as for the squares, that I feel like it has a lot more potential. So I did a handful of different projects and let me go ahead and show you what I did. First thing, I've got a couple of the same pattern and going to go ahead and sew it on three sides. Just doing a straight stitch, nothing too fancy. I am a very beginning sewer, so if I can do this, you can do this. And honestly, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could do a lot of these hand stitching. Obviously, it takes a lot longer, but it's doable. Once we've got it stitched on the three sides, then I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some rice. Now, you don't want it to be too full, but just enough that it's good weight and then that you can kind of squish it to the side and be able to stitch it close. For extra security I did stitch it twice around on all sides and this could be used for little hot packs so just toss them in the microwave for you know 30 seconds and then you've got them for your cold hands. You could also put them in a freezer so that you have something for your eyes or little ouchies on the little ones and you could use these honestly you could even fill them up with beans and do like bean bags so lots of ideas as a very simple and easy option so the next one that I'm doing here I actually have done this in like a rattle form for kids before and it was one of my nephew's favorite toys as a kid so I figured this works great in this form as well so again taking two of the same kind and then I pinned on all these different ribbons and we're gonna stitch them into it so just like the other one, I'm going to stitch up three sides. So this is one of the two projects where I am using that stuffing. And I also put in there a couple of bells. So that way it's a little rattle, makes a little noise, and has these fun tags. Kids really love these ribbon tags. And just like the rice and bean bags, I double stitch this. You really want to make sure that the kids aren't able to open it because it could be a choking hazard. So the next category of things that I'm doing with these little squares is just making little flowers or accessories. I just thought that these were some cute designs. So I'm gonna show them to you. You could put these on a headband, you could make them into a barrette, put them on a bag, whatever you want. So there's that little tie-dye guy. Now this one, I'm making a flower, so I cut, well, as you can see. So the strip, I'm folding over and rolling, I'm trying to tuck under the edge so it works out nice. And then I'm doing hand stitching on this flower. And then to assemble it, I cut the little pieces so that it gives it a little bit more 3D effect. So putting it underneath each of the larger pieces and then stitching that their curl on the inside, kind of like a buttercup flower, I guess and just making it to secure it very well. 
this is going to adorn the next project. If you do want to check out a couple of different flower options on DIYs, I did a felt and a fleece one already on this eight ways to DIY roses video. So feel free to check that out. It's linked down below. So this one, we are going to make a bigger piece of fabric because just working with what we have. So I had several blocks of the same pattern and I'm just going to stitch down the side until I've got a nice strip. Because this is fleece, it is nice and stretchy, which we're gonna want for this particular project. And then we've got the edges that kind of stick out. This is gonna be a headband, so we're like an ear warmer. So you don't necessarily want that kind of squished against your face. The nice thing about fleece is it doesn't need to be hemmed. You're not gonna get frayed edges, but I am using a zigzag to just kind of tack it down. So this was my attempt here, as you can see, kind of up close. It does stick out a little bit. Now, if they were just a little bit bigger, I would have folded over the edges to give it a nice, more finished look, but they're kind of small and it wouldn't cover up my ears if I folded them over to finish up the edges. So right now, I'm just going to square it off, make it nice and straight. Now on this, I tried just laying one on top of the other since it is not going to fray, but I don't know, I don't think it's quite as secure but it is less bulky. Either way, I did do a zigzag all the way around the top and the bottom after cutting off the little corners so you don't see them sticking out. And then attaching the flower that I just made to it. All right, and going back to the, you know, I don't consider a whole yard of fabric uh, a scrap for, you know, one of these kind of projects, but making your own larger piece of fabric. So instead of just a headband, we are making a dog bed. So, I mean, my dog is a mini poodle mix, so she's not giant, but you could certainly do this. Honestly, the bed that I made is bigger than she needs and could have been stuffed way more but I think it's it's perfect for her right now. But you can see here, again, we're making chains and then you sew those chains together. I did eight chains of 18 blocks because I kind of measured and wrapping it around considering all the dimensions. But obviously what you got, you're gonna work with that. I intentionally made sure to uh, stack in different piles so I wouldn't have any two touching right next to each other hopefully and so I'd get a fun funky design. So I'm going to sew the top and the bottom and then keep one side open to stuff. I didn't need to sew the left side because I just made the chains long enough to wrap around. And then this was actually the hardest part of the whole project was just closing it after stuffing it because I have a little table and it was just kind of awkward but got it done. This was my dog's first time on there and I think she will really enjoy it. I think it's fun and funky. It's not for everyone but I love that sort of crazy sort of thing and I love that I didn't have to just throw these in the garbage that they did find a new life. Um, again enjoying her bone on there. I would love to know what you guys think. If there are other projects that you've done before, love to hear about them and please comment down below which was your favorite. Which do you think you would actually do in the future? Please do subscribe and share this if you'd like and I hope you have a wonderful day and then I'll see you on my next video.